Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to make a JDBC connection to your Java project. So for that you need a software to make the database in. And I'm here using PHP MyAdmin. So go to the website of PHP MyAdmin, that is phpmyadmin.net. Go into support. And in support, go into the documentation. In the documentation, go into installation, installing on Windows, XMPP. XMPP shows your database on a web server. And in front of download, download XMPP for Windows. So here I've already downloaded it. So in the downloads, it looks something like this, the installer. Just open it and install it normally by just clicking next, next. Then after the installation is done, you'll find in your C drive a folder named XMPP. Just open it and click on XMPP control. So the control panel will be something like this. Now you click start in front of Apache. Wait for this to turn into green and click start in front of MySQL. Wait for the port number to appear. Okay. Now you go to any web browser, click and then open localhost which is your web server now this is your dashboard go to phpMyAdmin here you can create the database so inside text that is a structure from new you can create any table here I've already made a table called users and I have two columns one called username another called password you can easily create another table with different number of columns and different columns so now so I made the database. Now I need to connect this database to my Java project that I have in SQL. For that I need a MySQL connector.jr file. So for that I've given the link in the description. This is the link. You just simply copy it, paste it in your web browser and just it will be downloaded which is like 528 KB and in the downloads just copy it to program files java jre lib ext and copy it here so i have already copied it and my sql connector is here so in the eclipse i have the project a login page in the system library you can see my sql connector.jar is now there so the login page is something like this i have a login button I have a username, I have a password and text labels for that. So inside the action listener of the login button, I have the code and it should be in a try catch statement. So inside try, I have class dot raw name com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. Then a connection C is equal to driver manager dot get connection jdbc mysql localhost. 3306 the post num the port number test the structure root that is username and password that is null now you make a statement stmt is equal to see the connection dot create statement now inside the string sql you'll write the code for the database so select star select all from users users is my table name where username the column name is equal to tf user that is the label dot get text and password is equal to pf password dot get text so if the username entered in the program if this username label is equal to the username i have in my table and if the password label here is equal to the password i have in the table then it will be true so result set rs is equal to stmt dot execute query sql so if rs dot next that is if it is true then frame dot dispose that is that frame will close and another frame will open if it's not true then another message will be shown saying username password error so i'll show you here i have the table and i have username and password as this so inside this if i try to type it correctly if i type it correctly and this then it will successfully go to the next page however if 
I try to type something else which is not in the table. ADA, ADA. It'll give me a username slash password error. So the only lines of code that you need to write should be inside try catch. And here I put it in the action performed of the login button. And this is the login page. So this is how you make the JDBC connection to your Java project.